And one of those calls coming from the mother of 16-year-old Isaiah Carter, who was shot and killed in March. Fox 45's Vincent Hill sat down with her and has more on what she's calling a flawed system. Yeah, Michelle Hines says she wants to make sure her son didn't die in vain, and she's taking her fight straight to Annapolis. Every single time I turn on no local news, there's another child. Michelle Hines lost her son, 16-year-old Isaiah Carter, to gun violence. He was not just a statistic. Since then, she's been outspoken about Maryland's juvenile justice laws. When it comes to these lawmakers, they really need to look into what is working elsewhere. The data is there. We are surrounded by states that have crime, of course, but they're not this high. But Hines not agreeing with the Secretary of Juvenile Services, Vincent Chiraldi's data. But the people who are here on ground level, we don't see that. We don't feel it. Statistics show otherwise. Because juveniles can't be arrested for certain crimes. That's why the numbers are down. Chiraldi claims the brain is not fully developed until at least 21 years old. Given society is really confusing now, but when we were at that age, we knew right from wrong. They know right from wrong. The difference is now we've given them this leeway of, I can keep being wrong. And Chiraldi is not the only person in Annapolis Heinz is taking issue with. What would your message to the governor be? Having these kids know that they're going to get a smack on the wrist, of course they're going to get away with this crime. Right. But we need to go back to what the rules were originally. Enforce some kind of detention and some kind of follow-up. We're literally creating repeat offenders with the laws we have in place now. But if we're just going to look at them and say, well, they're too young to know the wrong that they've done, that is not for Baltimore. That is not for Maryland. Because kids in this city, in the states, are still committing crimes. He needs to come up with a plan. How are we going to deal with these offenders? But the plan can't be to just brush it under the rug. And at this week's public safety meeting, Commissioner Worley acknowledging a rise in juvenile crimes, especially robberies, up 97% from this time last year. In the newsroom, Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News.